Perfect. And we'll get started with Helene St. James. Hi, Lucas. Now that you've had a few days to reflect on your season, kind of how would you assess it maybe compared to what your expectations were when you arrived at training camp? Um, it, was a, it was a really fun first season. Uh, I mean, of course, the results wasn't as we wanted it, but uh, for me personally, I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, we had a great team that, that made it uh, really easy for me to come in and was welcomed very, very quick and very, very good. Uh, so that helped me out a lot. Uh, coming into training camp, I, uh, I didn't expect much. I just had the mindset to try to make the team. And uh, when I did that, it was just to, to start looking forward and, and uh, performing on the ice. What were the challenges in handling the grind? I mean, it was more games than you've used to. Yeah, I know for sure. Uh, it's my first 82 game season and especially not used to, to traveling. It's different time zones, but I, I felt pretty good. Uh, uh, traveling is, is uh, I wouldn't say easy, but, but it's very comfortable for us. And uh, we get great help all around with trainers uh, to make sure that we're, we're prepared. And I, um, I felt good. Uh, I think uh, it's it's more mentally than it than it is physically. Maybe to to really try to be there every game and and be be on it. Uh, so it was for sure a great great first season for me to to get into that and know what's uh, what's coming next season. And did that influence your decision regarding the World Championship? Just having played so much. Yeah, uh, it was a very tough decision uh, since you, you always want to play uh, for your national team, especially as a, a tournament that big. Uh, but the decision kind of came down to that. I, I didn't have much left in the tank and uh, had to think, uh, think about having a good summer here. And I want to have a really good summer this year uh, to, to be good prepared for next year. And uh, I feel now I get uh, more time and, uh, uh, and can, can prepare the way I, I want to. Last one, you mentioned traveling. Was there a favorite stop or a stop that particularly stood out to you uh, as you made your way around the NHL? Um, yeah, of course. I mean, it's a lot of great cities. Uh, for me, everything was new. I am uh, i haven't been to, I think before I came over, I'd been to two cities in um, in the U.S. So just to be able to see all of that was was a lot of fun. It's I feel like every every city brings its own uh, own part. Uh, so it was a lot of great cities for sure. Okay, which two cities had you been to? Uh, I went to New York when I was younger, and I have relatives that lived in Boston, so went there when I was about maybe 10, 11. I was very young, so don't remember too much, but um, seen pictures, and it was it was a lot of fun. Thanks, Lucas. Thank you. And Sarkhan. Hey, Lucas, uh, just what is the summer going to be like for you? Is it going to be any different than uh, previous summers? And what is your focus uh, as far as areas of the game that you're concentrating on heading into a next season? Um, yeah, I could. I guess you could say it would be a little different. I think the, uh, the amount of, of training will be, will be similar to what I did last year. Uh, but I feel like now with a, with a year, I... Uh, I felt areas that I that I want to develop. Uh, it's always tough when you when you have an experience to try to guess it. You, of course, you always get help from from people around you, but I think it's also uh, always easier when you um, when you've experienced it yourself. Uh, so I think in, in that sense, it will be a bit different, but um, the the same amount of work will uh, will be pretty similar. And is there any, uh, anything particular you're focusing on as far as areas of your game that you're looking to improve on for next year? Um, well, I want to I wanna become bigger and stronger, of course. I think that comes pretty naturally since I'm still very young. I think I'm, uh, well, I am still developing physically. Uh, so, so that's for sure a big part. And then, um, and then I try to work, uh, work on my skating is probably my main focus uh, to to be able to to come out of tight corners with speed, to be able to handle that and and uh, uh, stay strong there, I think that's probably the biggest part. Also, wanted to get your thoughts on uh, what what we can expect from uh, Edvinson um, whenever he makes the team. Just what what uh, what are your impressions of him? 
Um, he's a he's a very very skilled defenseman, uh, especially with the size he has as well with with really good skating. So um, yeah, I'm really excited for for him to come over next year, and uh, I'll for sure meet with him this summer as well, and um, and uh, skate with him. So it'll be really exciting. Um, he's a great guy. So uh, hopefully it it works out good. Thanks, Lucas. Thank Thanks, Baltman. Hey, Lucas, I'm curious what you learned uh, the most from playing with Dylan Larkin and Tyler Bertuzzi all year. Is there a couple of things that stand out, whether it's, you know, hockey wise or, or just managing the season wise? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, they're both two extremely good players. Uh, uh, both uh, scored 30 plus this year. Larkin scored 30 plus and, and Bert as well. So uh, you for sure learn a lot. Uh, they they've been around for for a while now too and uh, yeah so they they helped me out a lot not only on the ice but off the ice a lot too just with communication and um, and helping helping me out there so they were huge for me and uh, I think there's a lot of parts that you can do, take away from from everyone's games but uh, I feel like playing so close to them and watching them so closely uh, uh, they were for sure two guys that uh, that I could could follow a lot. And then I know you played for a really good program over there. Like, do you remember when the last time that a team you were on didn't make the playoffs was? Uh, no. I, I mean, I guess how does that kind of – what's that feeling been like for you? I know you're a competitive guy and going into an offseason early. What, what's this week or so been like that you've had to reflect? Uh, I mean, it's tough. Um, uh, the, um, the last part when we were – uh, out of playoff contention, it was, it was tough uh, to um, to get that, and um, I feel like we had a great, we were in a great spot uh, in the beginning of the season, and then uh, and then lost it a little bit the second half, which was uh, which was tough. I feel like we have such a competitive group, and everyone wants to to be there and compete, and um, I would have loved to be in the playoffs right now, uh, but. Um, I feel like the mindset is just now to 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 regroup, have a really good summer, and then go out next year uh, with uh, um, with being determined to to making the playoffs. And then last thing, what impressed you the most about Moritz Sider this year? I know you got to play against him last year, but but seeing him up close so often this year. Uh, yeah, he's. Uh, I think it's it's fascinating how he he's so big and so strong, but still so mobile on his skates. And uh, I think those are the, the toughest D's to play against, the uh, big D's that still are very good at skating. Uh, and then with this, he has a really good shot too and, and great vision. So uh, it's a lot of fun playing with him. Uh, we, uh, we connect good out there. And uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's had a really impressive year. Thanks very much. Thank you. Ted Colfin. Finally, there we go. Hey, Lucas, when you came over for training camp, I mean, were you thinking, I was, I'm going to, did you have the mindset you were going to make the team or did you kind of expect, you know, like a lot of young players, you're going to have to start the year in GR or whatever? Uh, no, I didn't really expect anything, to be honest. Uh, of course, coming over, I had, uh, had the mindset of making the team. Uh, I, if I didn't believe that I could do it, I wouldn't have, have went over. Uh, and uh, yeah, fortunately, I um, had a good, um, was in good shape coming in. I felt really good, and um, yeah. Uh, but coming in, I didn't really have any expectations. I was, I was prepared for both. Uh, if it didn't work out, to to play in GR, uh, but of course, I was uh, gonna do everything I could to to make the team. Did you feel like right off the bat that you could play in the league? I mean, once training camp started, the scrimmages, it's like, all right, I could handle this probably. Uh, no, I, it's always tough because you never know. Uh, it, it's so different playing uh, competitive NHL games compared to uh, compared to preseason. Uh, it'll always be a difference, uh, even if it's a extremely high level, even, even in preseason. So, so it was tough. Uh, I didn't, um, I didn't really know. Uh, and, um, kind of, 
kind of just try to focus on playing good every game. And, uh, uh, yeah, that was kind of it. You alluded to it earlier. I mean, here you are, you're 20 years old in the NHL. I mean, how, what exact, you said it was, you know, a fun experience. What, what's the best parts about it? I mean, for a guy like you to play in the NHL like that, this young in your, you know, your, this young in your career. Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's a lot of good parts. I mean, of course it's, uh, uh, in the beginning, especially, it was a little surreal playing against guys that you've grown up watching since you were, um, I don't know how young, but but very young. So uh, to go out and all of a sudden be next to them on a face-off or uh, be in a battle in a corner, uh, it's a bit surreal when you think about it. But uh, at the same time, once you're out there on the ice, you um, I don't really think think about it that much because you, you have so much else to think about. <laughs> so, uh, but that, that's, of course, really exciting. Um, and especially just coming to Detroit, uh, a team that I've grown up watching with, with such a rich history with, with Swedes and so many great players. Um, it, was, uh, it was really exciting. All right, last one. Who was the one guy on the ice when you kind of like, like, wow, I'm playing against this guy or something like that? I mean, was there one moment like that or something like that? Uh yeah, it was a lot of them, I feel like, especially in the beginning. I mean, we started off against Tampa, uh, who who has a lot of great players. Um, so uh, it, it was a lot of them, but it was really fun. Good deal. Thanks, Lucas. Thank you. Daniela Bruce. Hi, Lucas. Um, you mentioned earlier that the mental side of playing an 82 game NHL season was the part that you had to adjust to a little bit more. Can you just expand on that, how you feel your mentality has changed now that you've gone through that 82 game season and how you got through some of the lower points of the season? Um, yeah, um, I think it's <clears throat> the tough part is, is with the tight schedule to always, always be there. And and uh, I played every 82 games and um, sometimes you don't feel great uh, and sometimes you do feel great and it's uh, it's it's tough thing to come around because sometimes you you don't feel so good coming into a game but then you feel great on the ice and then another good time you you feel great before the game and you come out and you don't feel so good so I'm still figuring that part out but um, I just think it's uh, it makes it so much easier when you uh, when you have a good team like we did, that that made it a lot easier for me. That um, on the ice in the locker room in the gym, we were very determined. But once we got off, uh, we had fun and we we enjoyed each other. And uh, yeah, that that made it a lot easier for sure. And then last one for me. I know you're in Sweden now and you're going to train over there. But do you plan on coming back to Detroit at all this summer to train? Uh, yeah, right now I'm in Sweden and and we'll we'll. Uh, I uh, start my training here in a, in a couple of weeks and uh, then I'll see how it goes, uh, how I feel if I, uh, I'll talk to the, the tr trainers in Detroit too and see, um, I make up a plan, but the plan right now is to, to be here in Sweden and then uh, come over a little earlier uh, to train there at the end. Awesome. Thanks, Lucas. Thank you. Last question, Kevin Allen. Hey, Lucas, uh, you had mentioned the rich uh, Swedish history with the Red Wings. You know, that could uh, begin again next season when Edmondson comes over, and there could be a couple of others as well. Uh, are you excited about that prospect? I mean, you know how many prospects they have that are from Sweden. Are you excited about having another branch of the Team Sweden uh, in Detroit? Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, I mean, it's always fun when, uh, when guys that you, that you know uh, you get to play with them and, and come over. Uh, I feel like uh, Detroit has a lot of great prospects. And, uh, yeah, I'm just happy uh, uh, for for whoever comes in and plays good uh, that can help our team. Uh, so, yeah. Do you see yourself in a role next season of, uh, you know, kind of uh, showing the young Swedish players the ropes? I mean, I mean, you're still would be a second-year player, but you're a veteran compared to them. Uh, yeah, no, no, I don't think so. Uh, I'm only 20, so I'll just be a, be a good buddy, I think, instead. 
Uh, and uh, next season, I mean, uh, in your first season in the NHL, I think everyone still sort of views it as temporary existence. Will you look in terms of being more permanent next year? Will you look for a home? I mean, do you have sort of any plans for coming back in the fall that you didn't even think about this season? Uh, I didn't hear you. You cut off. Um, I was just wondering whether next season, coming back for your second year, whether you have any plans to, you know, look for a permanent home or, you know, anything that was sort of established that, yeah, I'm going to be here a long time now. Um, uh, yeah, I don't, I haven't, I'll look this summer, uh, where to live next year. Uh, I'll, I'll probably, probably rent again. Uh, uh, just because it's, it's, it's easier for me, uh, to do, uh, but we'll see. I haven't really put that much thought into it, uh, but I'll uh, I'll talk to the to the people over there, and they'll help me, and we're uh, we'll probably find a uh, a good uh, living situation. Thank you, Lucas. Thank you.